Hey everybody, it's Yokuma Better back with another video. What's popping? What's good? And as you can see from the title, we are back with another book haul. And when I mean I have a ton of books, a ton of books. So all of these books clearly were not purchased all at the same time. I've been collecting these stack of books since Christmas time. So when I mean it's a lot, like it's a lot. So most of them are like series. One, two, three. I have three series and a couple of standalone books. And a couple of books that people have sent to me but they didn't write. So like they're not like what do you say like books written by them they just sent them to me because they thought that I would be interested in them so before I start the video make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not subscribed what are you doing hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the mo better gang the mo better everything squad and don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be the first to know when I upload videos and you can get the notifications right to your phone right to your email right to your computer so without any further ado let's get to the video so the first series i'm going to talk about is a series that is not new to my channel uh i already have two book reviews up on my channel from this series and it is the cartel series this review is up on my channel right now also i have a book number two so this review is also up on my channel right now so make sure you go check it out i just put this book review up like maybe two or three days ago so make sure you go check it out and check out the first cartel book review also so three of the books that are not on my channel yet are the cartel three now i usually read the back of the books I'm not going to read the back of these books because they are spoiler alerts, but there will be book reviews on these books if you guys would like. Most likely I will do it, but this is book number three. This is one of the new covers too. This is the book that um, the Cartel series was supposed to end at with um, the final. This is, I cannot talk. This is the Cartel 3, the final chapter, but obviously there are seven books, but they, I think the fans love the series so much, they just wanted more, so they decided to do a third one, and it's just a little knot of money with some blood on it and all that, um, and I think that's it in the back or whatever, so yeah, by Ashley and Jaquavis, if you did not already know, and this fourth book, I was about to say the second book, the fourth book is, uh, the Cartel 4, Diamonds Are For Other... I just said I could not talk right. This is the fourth book, The Cartel 4, Diamonds Are Forever. And this is the, one of the new covers as well. It just got some diamonds, all that. If you don't know the family in the book, um, last name is Diamonds. So Diamonds Are Forever is their little slogan, which I think is really cute. But you got to read the book to understand like where all that comes from. But yeah, um, let me tell you, these two books, especially after that second book... And the way it ended, I was so ready to read this third book. Like, yo, what in the heck happened? So, yeah. The fourth book was really good, too. The fourth book, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, it was so much going on. Like, I can't even talk about it. I just got to do a book review. So, yeah. If you want to see these book reviews, um, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Also, what am I talking about? I have... The fifth book also, this is The Cartel 5, La Bella Mafia. This is actually the book that I am currently reading at the moment. Like, I'm like almost, well, kind of almost done with it. And let me tell you a little story about this book and why it's significantly smaller than other books. So, the same situation happened with my, um... Thug Series books by Wahida Clark. These were sold by Mass Market. And for some reason, Mass Market, their books are smaller than the regular size books or the regular publishing books. Um, and I really wanted this cover, which is like the um the kiss thing with the little lipstick or whatever. It's another book that's the original cover and it's like gold and it got like a skyline, like or whatever, and I really didn't care for it. Like it was just too plain. So I really wanted this one and on Amazon they only had the other one so I was like let me go on another book site to see if they have another if they have the other cover which was this one and they did which was Barnes and Nobles but Barnes and Nobles didn't say that it was mass market so I'm thinking like oh the book is going to be the size of the rest of them this book came like this and I was just like 
oh my god really so and especially since it's the fifth book if it was like the first book i wouldn't have really cared like so now i can't stack this book up under the other books so it kind of bothers me so i might just bite the bullet and go buy the other cover that's the large one but yeah so it does have its um little perks though because it fits very well in like a small purse or whatever so if i want to bring the book along with me which i do i bring mostly all my books with me because i read them on the train and on the bus and stuff like that but um yeah it kind of bothers me that it's small but anyway i will be getting book a th I'm gonna say three book six and book seven book seven recently came out last year I think was it July 2017 so yeah I'm gonna get those last two books probably sometime next week I'll buy them so I will have the full collection of um the cartel series so look out for that on my channel Okay, the next series is also by Ashley and Jaquavis. I have been on this Ashley and Jaquavis kick because they are so dope. They are dope writers and this video is not sponsored or anything by them they don't even sponsor videos and stuff like that but i just really love their books and the way that they write they are so unique and stuff like that so i am a stan so the next series is a series that at first i didn't think i was really gonna like but it like once i got into it it blew my mind and it is murderville this is Ashley and Jaquavis's, I don't even know what series this is for them, but this is Murderville, first of a trilogy. Guys, I could actually read the back of this book for you because I haven't done a book review yet, but I will. Don't even worry about it. Two children from Sierra Leone, Liberty and Ashai, are brought together by chance, only to be forced apart by fate. Ashley and Jaquavis deliver this classic love story set against modern life's most tragic realities. As Liberty lies dying, Ashai walks her through their past, reliving their journeys through the streets. Their story will take them from an arranged marriage, Mexico's drug cartel, child brothels, hustling in Detroit to, de to escaping LA's underworld. But ultimately, this is a story of love and redemption that will leave you breathless from the first page until the unpredictable and mind-blowing ending. Now, when they say that at the end, when it says say that this story will leave you breathless from the first page until the unpredictable, mind-blowing ending, they are not lying. This book right here, like, it is your... It is your kind of cliche drug story, but certain parts in the book are very, very unique. I will definitely go into detail about it when I do the book review on this because I think, like, this is one of my top favorite books from Ashley and Jaquavis. Um, it is a series, but, like, this is the my favorite book right here. Also, there is Murderville 2, The Epidemic. This is the second book in the series. I like this book, too. It is a little thicker than the first one. So, you see, it's, like, a little thicker. Um, it is... It is a lot more story. I'm not going to read the back of it because it kind of spoils the book also. But I really liked it. I just hate, like, this little feet thing. It's like a, um, like a toe tag on it or whatever. And it says, Murderville population dead or whatever. I just think it's ugly. Like, I don't want to see somebody's feet on the cover of my book. But the book was good. Yeah, like, nobody wants to see feet. And it's like, on this one, it's a girl. I guess this is supposed to be, like, Liberty, the main, um, uh, character in the book or whatever and it, I guess this is like a blood stain of a hand but she's so pretty but to go from that to somebody's crusty ass feet like no and then there is a third book which is Murderville 3 The Black Dahlia let me tell you something this book right here the girl in this book Dahlia oh my god I can't wait to do a review on this I wanted to beat this bitch ass like she blue minds like she's in the second book too and i don't know which book blue minds more i think it was this one because like she really like did the most but y'all gonna get a book review on all three of these books so don't even worry about it don't even worry about it. the next series is also by ashley and jaquavis like i might as well just call this the ashley and jaquavis book haul honestly because like about 11 of these books are by them like yeah, so the next series is a series I haven't read yet, but um, I heard 
a lot of great things about it. Like, a lot of people love it because I'm in Ashley and Jaquavis's, um reading group on Facebook. And it's just so many women. I think it's about 7,000 women and men in this Facebook group. Yes, men do read her books too. Um, my god brother was locked up and he was reading her books. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. But yeah, I heard so many good things about this series. So I was like, let me pick it up. Um, after I finish the Cartel series, I probably will read this series next. And it is The Prada Plan. So um, I really don't know what the story is about because I tried to stray away from spoilers and all type of stuff like that. In the Facebook group, they don't do spoilers. Some of them do slip through the cracks just a, t just a, just a tiny bit. But if it's a newer book, like, they won't spoil it. But if the book is kind of old, like the cartel, like the first cartel book, sometimes the spoilers get in there because they expect people to already have read it. But they try to, you know, pick out all the spoilers or whatever. So, yeah, I tried to stay away from um, hearing what this book was about because I wanted to read it on my own. But um, let me read the back of this one. It says, The Saya Morgan's infatuation with money knows no limits and she will do anything to get it when she's accepted into new york organization known as the elite she is under the impression that she will be a high paid model but soon realizes that she stepped into a world of sex and lies she is befriended by leah the headmistress of the elite and together they make more money than they can spend nothing is too erotic for the pair and Desaya soon finds herself knee deep in a world where no means yes and there is no way out. She meets Indy and falls hopelessly in love with him while she tries her hardest to keep her lifestyle a secret but everything done in the dark eventually comes to light. When she loses control of her own hustle things go horribly wrong and she learns the hard way that in the game she's playing there are no winners. So yeah as you can see this is the book. I don't know if they have new covers for this book, but I think this is the only cover. It says, The Prada Plan, something that every woman must have. So, I guess I gotta find out what that means. But this is another one of those mass market books. That's why it is small. And there are five books in this series. So, I have also the part... The, I have also the Prada Plan 2, which is Leah's story. So Leah is one of the characters in the book as well. Um, I don't know if I want to read the back of it because I don't want it to spoil it. I also have the Prada Plan 3, Green Eyed Monster. So this one clearly is not mass market. So um, it is the regular size. But they do have a picture of Ashley um, Antoinette. Um, I said this was by, um, Ashley and Jaquavis. The Prada Plan is only by Ashley, which is the wife to Jaquavis. They write their books together. They only wrote, well, they didn't only, they wrote The Cartel, um, together. They wrote Murderville together. They wrote, um, I forgot the other books that they wrote together. But, yeah, they write separately and they write together. But, yeah, this is Green Eye Monster. And, like I said, this is her back here. If you could see her face, you could probably see the glare on my camera. Haha. -ha. But, yeah. There are also um, two more books in this series. So, there are five product plans so far. I'll probably get the other two when I order the last two books in the cartel. So, I'll have the complete series of the product plan and the cartel. So, my next book is also by Ashley Antoinette. And it is A Moth to a Flame. Um, this is a book clearly that she wrote by herself. And it is also mass market because um, this is the newer cover. The other cover is white with a girl on it. And she has like a moth on her her mouth or whatever this one it just has the moth like um in flames or whatever so i like this cover they didn't even have the option to buy the bigger one on amazon so that's why i got this one but this book i gotta do a review on this one too but let me read the back to you in the little city of flint michigan the good die young and the people left standing are the grimiest of characters with rain over the city's drug trade, Benjamin Atkins made sure that his precious daughter, Raven, was secluded from the grit that the city had to offer. But when Raven's young heart gets claimed by Maison, a stick-up kid in search of a come-up, there's, there's nothing Benjamin can do about losing her to the streets. She chooses to love, she chooses love over loyalty and runs off with Maison, but her new role as wifey soon 
proves to be more than she can handle. Puppy love always feels right, but things turn stale, and she soon finds that every one she loves has disappeared. All she has is Maison, but when, when hugs and kisses turn to bloody lips and black eyes, she realizes that Maison is not who she thought he was. Raven becomes desperate for a way out, but this time, Daddy can't save her. Every time she finds the courage to leave, Fear convinces her to stay like a moth to a flame. Raven is drawn to Maison, even though she knows he'll be the death of her. When the hood life she chooses becomes unbearable and the only way out is in a coffin, what will she do? This book upset me so much. It upset me a lot. Like, gotta do a book review. Like to get deep into it clearly, um, by the back of the book, you could tell that it's a kind of a book about um being in an abusive relationship and stuff like that. You guys know if you watch my book reviews on my channel, I have already done a book review on a book that is about being in a d domestic violence relationship, so um, you would know some of my views on that already. But I'm gonna do a book review on this book so you can hear what I think about it. It was a good book, but it was a very upsetting. Very, very upsetting. Okay, my next book is on a book that you have seen on my channel. Um, I already have a book review on this. And um, one of my subscribers, an author, sent this to me. This is by uh, Zephora Rain. Um, like I said, I already have a book review on this book on my channel. Um, it is called Warm Dark Damp Places. If you want to hear what I thought about this book, please go check out that video. Um, it will probably be linked down in the description as well. These next two books were sent to me by one of my subscribers. Um, he did not write these books, but he thought that I would be interested in reading them and I eventually will. I just have so many books as you can see that I haven't read yet. It's plenty of books from my other book um, hauls that I haven't even read yet. So, like, it takes time to get through these books, you guys. But I promise, hopefully, by the end of the year, a lot of the books that you have seen in these book reviews will be read. And some of them, not all of them, will have book reviews. We'll see. Don't worry about it. They coming. So, the first book um, that he sent me, I think his name is Cedric Long something like that he has commented under a couple of my videos and he emailed me like i said and wanted to see if i was interested in some books but i think that's his name if it's not tell me your name down in the description please um the first book is black and ugly by t styles i hear a lot about this author and i don't know if it's a woman or a man oh it's a woman sorry it is a woman and i am a part of her um Facebook group but um it's not as active as the Ashley Jaquavis one like she posts a lot but it's not a lot of um book readers that post a lot in, in the group I guess I don't know why but um so let me read the back of this book Parade Knight hates her complexion as a result she considers herself to be unattractive and condones the misuse of her body Sky Taylor is beautiful, fly and wanted, and loves reminding pride of her imperfections, especially after suspecting that she may be sleeping with her man, Jay Hernandez. Miss Wayne is hilarious and a self-proclaimed girlfriend who enjoys the attention his friends bring. If you let Miss Wayne tell it, he's not gay. He's just one of the girls. I was so confused just now. I'm thinking Miss Wayne was a girl. And then, yeah. Yeah. Daphne stands, uses her body for profit, and hides a health secret so serious that it could endanger the lives of her friends, considering their sex partners are so close related. Black and Ugly is a tale of four totally different friends from the same block, whose friendship is tested during a seamlessly innocent game of truth or dare. When fatal secrets begin to resurface, no, excuse me, when fatal secrets begin to surface, will parade give up the friend who shadow she has walked in all her life and will miss wayne and daphne abandon their friends to save themselves this sounds like a good ass book like this sounds good for real for real and i don't know if they got this from the library it like got a library stick on it because it says african-american and they got some kind of code on the side 
Cedric, did you take this from the library? You got me holding library books like you didn't return them. Like, what's up? But anyway, this sounds like a good book. I have so many series to fin finish, but I think after I finish the cartel series, um, I'm supposed to read the Prada um, series, but this book doesn't seem that long. It is about... Oh, it's about... It's about 280 pages. I could finish this in like a couple of days. So I'm probably going to read this after I finish the cartel and then read the product plan. But it's a couple of other books I want to read by T Styles. I think it's called Redbone. There's another one. Is it nine or something like that? Is that about her? Nine or whatever. I know I heard about that book. It's some wild stuff in that book and in Redbone that I didn't heard little stuff about. So I'm interested in reading it. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna read this because this sounds juicy. Yeah. The next book that um he sent me was a book called Now this is not urban fiction. Not urban fiction. It is called An Amelia Long Mystery Secrets in the Woods by J. E. Smythe. I don't freaking know. This is how the book looks right here. Let me read the back. Emilia Long is an investigative reporter from New York City. After reading documents left for her by her adopted mother, Emilia learned that she was left abandoned as an infant at a Brooklyn hospital. The discovery led Amelia on a journey to find her birth mother. The search took her from New York to a small town in North Carolina. Upon her arrival, she learned that her birth mother disappeared months before her birth and that the disappearance was linked to a murder. With the key suspect in her mother's disappearance locked away in jail on unrelated charges and the townspeople, including the sheriff, unwillingly to help her, Amelia found herself at a dead end. With the help of her adopted sister, her newly found uncle, and her boyfriend, Amelia embarked on a suspenseful journey to find out what happened to her birth mother. In an unimaginable twist of fate, Amelia discovers more than she bargained for. Some secrets are better left untold. Oh, this sounds kind of good. Okay, I gotta read this. How many pages is in here? So this book is 288 pages, so that's not too bad. This girl, does she not look like the girl from, um, the daughter from Blackish? She kind of look like the daughter from Blackish to me, like in a cartoon form. Like, and she plays in Grownish now. She has her own spinoff show. But yeah, she kind of looks like her to me. I don't know why, but she does. Um, this sounds like a good book. Now, how did you get this book? Cedric. I keep calling him Cedric. I really hope, hope that's your name because I gotta go look to see if that's your name, but I think it is Cedric. Um, yeah, let me know where you got these books from. So, yeah, send me some more. Send me some more. Okay, I like. Okay, my last two books are also not urban fiction. They are fiction, but not urban fiction. And one of them, well, both of them are pretty popular, but one is a very popular and it just came out with a movie to it, but I'm gonna talk about that one last. So the first book is Quads. They Both Die at the End by Adam Sil Silvera. And yeah, I heard about this book from a booktuber here on YouTube and obviously and they had it in one of the book calls and I was just so intrigued um this is a newer cover too I was looking for the older cover but um my mom could only find this and she got it for me for Christmas and I was so hyped because I didn't think she was gonna get it but the other cover is like purple and it's like two people walking but this one it has the two people at the top and this is a little um hourglass with the sand falling and it says they both died at the end obviously it kind of deals with death because you by the title they both died at the end but let me just read the back of the book to you on september 5th a little after midnight death cast calls Matteo torres and rufus emetrio i don't know how to say his last name to give them some bad news they're going to die today Matteo and Rufus are total strangers, but for different reasons, they're both looking to make a new friend on their end day. The good news, there's an app for that. Of course there is. 
It's called The Last Friend. And through it, Rufus and Mateo are about to meet up for one last great adventure to live a lifetime in a single day. If that does not, like, intrigue you, I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, that just sounds like a good-ass book to me. Like, I want to know what happens. I want to know if they really die. It's like... It sounds like a really good book. And in the middle, like, certain parts, I didn't read it yet, but there's, like, little blackout parts. Like, this says part two, The Last Friend. Um, I'm just looking forward to really reading this book. Like, and then there's, like, another one. Where is it? I don't know if it's every chapter, but I think it's, like, every couple of chapters. Like, this one says part three, the beginning. So, yeah, and it's, like, little quotes from somebody. I don't know. But, yeah, I just want to read this book. And I'm probably going to do a review. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, this last book you guys have probably heard of. If not, you probably heard about it from the trailer of the movie playing on your TV every 10, 15 minutes. So, yes. Without further ado, the last book I have here is A Wrinkle in Time. So, the first time I heard about this book was not a long time ago like everybody would be saying like oh my god I heard about this book when I was little I honestly did not hear about this book when I was little I heard th about this book from listening to a podcast I listened to a podcast called The Read with Kid Fury and Crystal Kid Fury um was a YouTuber a long time ago well not a long time ago but he was doing YouTube and stuff and then he started doing a podcast and Crystal I never heard about her until this podcast but anyway it's not about them but I heard about this book from them and then I started seeing all of the commercials and stuff like that for the book. And Oprah is in it. So I was like, hmm, if it's a book, let me find the book. So if you don't know, I work at uh, elementary school, well, elementary school slash junior high school. And they had a book fair and they had the book there. So I just bought it. And this is how the book looks. This is the newer cover. I think this is the um, motion pictures cover. Now it, it says it's oh. I didn't even say the name, like the author's name. Um, it's A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Leg. I don't know how to say this child's last name. Do you see that? Lineage? Lin? Le? Nig? Come on now. You see it. Anyway, let me read the back of the book. There's really not a summary on the back of the book. There's really not a summary on the back of the book. It says that this book was originally written in 1962 by Madeline. Um, um, it also will go on to win the 1963 Newbery Medal, Bridging Science and Fantasy, Darkness and Light, Fear and Friendship. The story became a classic of children's literature and, and is beloved around the world. Now Disney is taking it to the silver screen with an all-star cast that includes Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, I did not know she was in the movie, um, Mindy Kaling, Chris Pine, and newcomer Storm Reed. The major motion picture brings the world of Wrinkle to life for a new generation of fans. This movie tie in edition of the timeless novel features the complete unabridged original text and introduction of the film's director of all of all Ava DuVernay she I guess was in Selma and eight pages of photos from the movie so yes this is the cover you see the trees and stuff there's something beaming down on the girl right here um on the inside there is pictures as it says let me find it so i think this is a picture of the um main character mind you i don't really know what this book is about but it's just interesting so yeah it's some pages like that i'm not gonna go through all of it because i want to read the book and be surprised at some of the stuff but I was just so interested in this because I love fantasy. Well, I love certain fantasy like Harry Potter. Y'all know I love me some Harry Potter. Like Twilight and stuff like that. Like that's 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 my shit right there. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I will like this book. So there you go. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a big thumbs up. I will totally appreciate it. Also, if you wanna be friends on social media, all my social media is always down in the description box. 
And without anything else being said, I will talk to you guys in the next video.